Okay, good morning to you, my beautiful friends. Sit down, because we have to talk. All right, so today is Friday, September 24th, 2021. <laughs> so this morning, let, let, me, let me explain to you uh, how I wake up today. So I wake up today, check my computer, and I got like, I don't know how many emails. Greg, what's happening to cryptocurrencies? Cryptos are getting slammed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, it turns out that the People's Bank of China has now made it illegal to transact at all in cryptocurrencies, and cryptocurrencies are getting hit. I'm laughing. I don't know about you, but I'm laughing, because what's Greg Manorino going to tell you right now? People buy this stuff. I don't know. I remain, I'm probably one of the biggest bulls on the face of the earth right now when it comes to cryptocurrencies and I'm been, and I'm telling you not just with this asset or this space with cryptos but you got to buy all these dips moving forward here and we're going to talk more about the 10 year yield and the the Dixie and that little formula I came up with here I did forget to leave uh, something important out yesterday I didn't realize it till after the video anyway so yes people relax Calm down. How many times? Really? In fact, I did a video recently where I said, just relax. Don't get all panicky about anything. Anything. Okay. Um, you got you to gotta just stay cool. Let these things play out. Okay. Step back for a moment. Look at the bigger picture. And that's when things should still become clear to you. With regard to this hit today, this morning, on cryptocurrencies, people, they're going to bounce back. It, they're going to bounce back, okay? You can, of course, have your own opinion after you do your own research and have a very deep understanding of the space. I think I do. Um, again, with regard to this market uh, and everything connected to it, I'm immersed in it. It's all I do, pretty much, except for some hot riding once in a while, some drag racing. But this is all I do. And I study this stuff pretty much all the time, and it makes me insane. And I think some of you would have to agree with that. So that's what's going on here. Um, okay, whatever. Let's see how it plays out moving forward. Look, I don't trade these things. L let, me, let me also explain this. If you are trading cryptos, you are on the wrong side short term, you're, you're probably a little bit upset. I don't trade these at all. These are long term holds for me. The same goes for gold and silver, the physical assets, okay? I almost never, and I mean this, almost never trade the derivative of this. Um, so I, I don't care. Anything can happen in the short run to any asset, okay? If you're trading it or even investing in it. When you're investing in something, you're holding it for the long term, okay? When you're trading it, obviously, it's it's a different story. And I got that, believe me. But you still, no matter what is going on with you, whether you're trading an asset, whether it's cryptos or anything else, or investing in them, you gotta stay relaxed, okay? What do I always tell you? You get panicky, you get fearful, you're gonna make mistakes. Uh, I mean, a clear example of this is what happened during the last drop in this market. I had people writing to me again, Greg, I just sold all my stocks. I closed all my stock positions one day, one day, and people are dumping their entire stock portfolios? It's insane, that's insanity in my view, okay? Uh, this market just put on, what, like 800 and something points in the last two trading days? Anyway, let's move forward. Right now, off the bat, like I said, cryptos are getting hit pretty hard, okay, off of this news from the People's Bank of China that uh, any transaction in cryptocurrencies is illegal. Now, how many of you are surprised to hear that? Again, a central bank does not want you transacting in anything except their product, their notes. You understand? And it's completely insane to me. But, you know, look, do you believe sincerely that uh, 
Chinese investors are not going to find a way to circumvent this. Of course they are. People are very ingenious, all right? And I don't believe sincerely that people over there uh, who believe, as I do, and a lot of you do, uh, in that crypto space, they're going to just say, oh, well, you know, they're going to throw in the towel now. No, they're going to find a way around it. Uh, that's just the way uh, humans are. You tell them not to do something, and they want to do it more. That's just the way it is, okay? Human nature. Let's move forward. Stock futures right now are lower. All right. We just had a rip-roaring rally yesterday. Whatever. As a matter of fact, a lot of assets are lower. Right now, gold and silver is lower yet again. Uh, the dollar right now relatively flat. Crude oil, actually the dollar is slightly lower this morning. Uh, crude oil is slightly lower this morning as well. Um, let's talk about this 10-year yield. Um, again, I left out a whole big section yesterday. Look, I get sometimes a little passionate and I move around a lot. So let's talk about the X factor. Okay, this is something I have come up with. I have observed this for years years and I want to talk about it real quick. So I explained to you all how important it is to watch the 10-year yield. It's the key to the markets. I also told you yesterday and many times before, once you look at that 10-year yield, you really should be looking over at the dollar, okay, or the Dixie. There is there, there is a relationship that exists there and there's a, there's a lot to be gained by studying this, okay. So I explained to you yesterday that if you take the 10-year yield, whatever it might be, multiply that by the Dixie, whatever that may be, then divide that by 1.61, you come up with X, okay, X. Now that X there has a lot to say, in my opinion, with regard to concern, I guess, you could, is a word you might want to use in this market. Right now, the 10-year yield is higher, 1.427, almost uh, 1.43. Now, with regard to that number, stop fixating on it. It's super important to watch, but then what's the Dixie doing? What's the dollar doing? There's no written in stone number with regard to looking independently at the 10-year yield. You got to take in everything. You understand? Now, I've explained to you that if the 10-year yield spikes in an uncontrolled way, you know, 1.3, 1.43, 1 1.5, 1.65, very rapidly, that's a bad sign, clearly, okay? So it's not really the number we're really looking at here. We want to see the relationship to that number in the, in the Dixie, and I'm going to talk more about this, believe me, all right? I'm going to, I'm going to clarify things for you here. Um, and you want to take in the current environment as well. We're in a debt hyperbubble. I think we all know that clearly. Okay, so this is how you utilize or use that X number. Again, you take 10-year yield, whatever it is, multiply that by the Dixie, divide that by 1.61, you come up with X. That number is around 80-something right now. It's a low number, a very low number. Now, the lower that number is, the more risk you should be taking on with regard to the equity market or stocks, the higher that number goes. For example, during the dot-com bubble, that number was around 366. During the last meltdown, uh, it was around 200. And during the 87 market crash, it was even higher than that. So the takeaway here is, a low number, a low X, uh, is a sign that you should be taking on risk. And it's clearly correct. I mean, that number has been low for, for years since the Fed has been, you know, artificially suppressing rates and, um, you know, the dollar's been weak. So it's very simple, very, very simple. As a matter of fact, if you are a subscriber to my free newsletter, link in the description of this video, I clarified this for you yesterday. I explained to you how this works because I realized I left it out. Uh, I broke it down for you. So if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, check your inbox, uh, email box. If you are not a subscriber to my newsletter, subscribe right now. But it pretty much covers what I just said. I send out a lot of good stuff 
in my free newsletter, this being one of them. So I hope this makes it easier for you to understand what's going on here. Stop totally fixating on that 10 year yield. It's not the number that matters. It's not the number itself. You got to look at everything in this market in relationship to something else. You understand? And then you take in the bigger picture. Like I always tell you, Greg Manorino is a macro guy. I look at everything. All right. And then I come up with the most likely scenarios uh, as to what's going to happen. It's, it's that simple. I hope I clarified this for all of you. Okay. So a low X number, and we're pretty low right now, means you should be buying the dips in this market, in the stock market here, period, in the end. Um, keep your eye on that number uh, and let's see where it goes. Like I said, you know, dot com bubble, like 366, crash of uh, 87, was, I think it was like around 400 and change. Uh, and, um, you know, the last meltdown of this market, it was around 200. So we're good. We are good here with regard to the X factor number in this market. Anyway, look, I hope this helps all of you out. Covered a lot of stuff here. Let's see where this goes today. Keep your eyes on cryptocurrencies, you know, again, with this whole People's Bank of China making it illegal to transact here in cryptos. I don't know, people. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to be like, uh, oh, this is it. It's going to zero. No, it's not. Sorry. As much as you wanted to. You want to transit. You would rather be, seriously, for those of you that are going to say cryptos are going to zero and crypto is crap. You would rather be in a Federal Reserve issued note? You would rather be in a central bank controlled currency? Really? Is that what you want to be? You think that's better? Well, good for you, because that's not where I think we should be. I'm out of here. Love you a lot, and I will see you at the end of the day.